Did you know that? Yeah. It's telling you what kind of marriage you possibly gonna have. Mm -hmm. Y'all see y'all see it's all connected. It's it's connected. So that's why I tell them it's connected. It's connected. You know, when you 15 years old and all your mama's sisters divorced, that's preparing you. It's 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 it, it, it's what it is basically giving you a, a a a panoramic view of what your view of marriage could be. Mm -hmm. See, it's all connected. It's not disconnected. It's all connected. And that's why we have to, you know, talk along these lines so people can see the truth, all right? All right, so let, let's move on so we can get to the rest of this. Sisters, I, I just want to start talking to you guys uh, because last week I left off uh, and didn't get to deal with this point. In Titus chapter number 2, verses 4 and 5, the Bible says, watch this. It says that they may teach the young women, this is talking about this, elderly women, the senior women, and last week, man, that I was talking about this, I was sitting, in, and I think we were meeting somewhere, and I was telling one of the ladies, she was, I think she was in her 40s, I said, sister, you are an aged woman now. You aged. Years ago, aged women was considered 50, 60 years old, but now mothers are so young. You know, we got grandmothers 40. Grandmother's 40. So everything has bumped back. I, 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 I've been teaching this for quite a while. Right now, every everything has, you know, has increased in age. You know, so you can add years to what individuals experience now in life. For instance, I, I, I tell most parents this: well, however old your child is, you can add at least five years to that when you compare it to, to your experience. So a kid now that's nine know a kid is 14 years old used to know back then. Come on, you, you got many 14 year old kids, you know, many, many 14 year old kids already got babies. Come on, so a 14 year old is really 20. <laughs> Come on somebody. So grandmama, grandmama is now in her late 30s, early 40s. Mm. So you, 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 you young ladies in your 40s, you grandmama now. So you're an aged woman. You can teach young women. The Bible tells us this in, in Titus 2. It says that the, it's talking about the aged women that they may teach the young women to be watched. Sober, to love their husbands, watch, to love their children. Verse 5, to be discreet. Chase keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Now you would think you would have to teach nobody this. Mm. You think you, you, know, you, you think a woman needs to know how to love her husband, to love their children, to be discreet. Chaste. Keep it at home, disobedient, uh, obedient rather to their own husband. All right? So it, it's dealing with a home environment. All right? Let's read it from the, uh, the message Bible. It says, by looking at them, it's talking about the age of the uh, senior women, the younger women will know how to love their husbands and children. Watch. Be virtuous and pure. Watch. Keep a good house. Be good wives. We don't want anyone looking down on God's message because of their behavior. So what I'm basically dealing with is domestic support. Somebody say domestic support. Domestic support. Now, from a biblical perspective, the res basic responsibility of the welfare of a home falls in the hands of the female spouse. I know stuff has changed a whole lot. I know we got men who stay home while the woman works, but that's not the way God designed it. Mm -hmm. That's why we so messed up. Mm -hmm. That's why we messed up, you know. This is true, even though in many homes, many men assume many other responsibilities that traditionally fell into the hands of women. Obviously, whatever works for a couple is fine, but sisters, you need to take care of your domestic responsibilities. Why do you say that, Pastor Mayla? Because when we fail to follow God's path, we invite 
the system and the spirit of the world in our midst. See, basically there are two kingdoms at war on earth. That's the kingdom of God and the kingdom of, of darkness. Kingdom of light, the kingdom of darkness. If you, you're following one or two of those kingdoms. If you're not following the laws of the kingdom of God, you're inviting the kingdom of darkness in. So here's some things that, that really, needs to, really needs to be understood when you start dealing with domestic responsibility. All right? Domestic responsibility. No family should have to eat out every day. I'm telling you, sisters, when you talk about getting married, you're talking about staying home, cooking in your house. I tell my wife, as long as we, we got, I, now we go out to eat sometime, but I, I'm like this, if I got food in my house, I'm not gonna take my money and give it to some joke. Right, right. When I can save me some money, eat it all. Mm -hmm. You know, we like, you know, we like to show off and look all, you know, like we got it going on and don't have a penny in the bank. Right, Right. You waste a lot of money eating out all the time. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. The other day I was driving home. I had eight. I stopped at a bunch of hospital visits. It was seven o'clock at night. I had eight nothing. I stopped and got a glass of tea and an and a, and a, and a, and a order of fries. It was three dollars and something. <laughs> Come on for some fries and some tea. <laughs> I said, Lord, that mess up and get home. <laughs> well, they bankrupt me out here. <laughs> Hallelujah. So, sisters, man, when you prepare, sisters, prepare you. I'm trying to prepare you for that. Learn how to cook. But all you mothers, teach these sisters how to cook. Teach them how to cook. That's their responsibility. Amen. Amen. That's your response. That's one of the things you're supposed to be able to do. Cook a decent meal. Amen. 